down from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. It was a very long day of doing leaves today. It's 4.30. We started at like 7.30, I think, quarter to eight. We just went nonstop all day. And we knocked out some of the really big properties of Ryan's. Um, one of them's one of the ones I gave them. I showed you guys in the past. Crazy, crazy leaves. Um, I tried running the Tiger Cat for a little while, the mower that used to be mine, and I sold to Ryan. Uh, I bought that thing brand new, for those of you that don't know. I had a ton of videos on it, and uh, I ran it, I think I had it for a year and a half, two years, and then I sold it to Ryan. But anyway, uh, very comfortable mower to ride on, and it cuts great, but I haven't been on a sit-down zero turn in a long time, so it's very, very awkward. And it's a very weird mower for me to be on. I was like sliding and shit. I don't know, it's like a damn rookie on that thing. So I quickly gave it back to him and I jumped back on the V-Ride. Uh, but tomorrow I have my Walker MT I'll be using and he'll have the Tiger Cat with the clamshell and we'll be knocking stuff out. But we are way ahead of where we normally are in cleanups. And uh, I don't know, it's kicking ass this year. The weather's been fantastic. It's about 70 again today. That's unheard of. I don't think we've ever had a fall season as warm as we've had. But anyway, let's get into it. Here's some footage for you guys. And uh, I didn't do a lot of talking in today's video. So um, go ahead and check this out. And here's some footage of some stuff we did today. Thank you. 
So Roscoe is uh, cutting this one down and mulched up on his fair Z3. This is my old property I gave him. I show you guys this every year in fall cleanups, but something I want to show you. So the bag ripped right along the seam, right along the seam right there a couple weeks ago. So I had my dealer order me a new one and uh, he got it warranted out for me. Well, the new one he ordered is a 4.3 bushel, which is the same as the three bags that went on the back of the Tiger Cat. We'll go look at that in a minute when I ordered that Tiger Cat. It's 3.3 bushels for the back of the V-Rides. So you can see that bag is bigger than that bag. Ryan has the other three of these from when I sold him the Tiger Cat. I think I'm gonna switch it out. I like that it holds more. But anyway, so this tube is a lot smaller and the blower is a lot smaller. Still a 52 dock. Smaller than what is on the Skag Tiger Cat that I sold Ryan a few years ago. This is a Skag Tiger Cat. He put, he changed it over to a clamshell. He still has a three bag bagging system, but look how big this tube is. And look how wide this blower is. This thing is massive compared to the V-Ride. Also with a 52 inch deck. Now this has a 22 horse on it, Kawasaki, and my V-Ride has a 25 horse EFI. Here's the thing. He has to go a lot slower on this. He clogs up all the time. Every time I turn and look at him, he's taking this end off, banging this tube out because his tube clogs up, right? That V-Ride 2 over there, I bag with that thing as fast as the mower will go. Just full bore, as fast as it'll go through the same shit that he's bagging with this Tiger Cat. I never clog, it never stops. You wanna know why? Because I have high lifts on that V-Ride 2 Ryan insists on running G6s on that Tiger Cat. And I told him, he goes, well, it chops up small. You don't have to dump as much. Yeah, but you have to go over everything twice because it leaves little pieces of shit all over because it doesn't suck it up out of the grass. You have to go over everything twice. And he clogs up all the time because it doesn't have the throw to push that stuff through. These high lifts, I bag twice as fast. And I, and I fly and I don't have to go over anything twice because it sucks everything right up. That's the difference. That's why I made those videos and I told you guys in those videos, run those high lifts or high lift short tails when you're bagging. I don't care what kind of bagging system you have, you won't regret it. Make sure you hit the subscribe bobbity button, leave a thumbs up and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. We'll see you in the next one.